Hey, music fans! Bad Bunny is back on the road, and his North American, Most Wanted tour kicked off on February 21. But hold on! The first stop isn't your typical stadium or mega city. He's headed to Delta Center in Salt Lake City, Utah. That's right! The Puerto Rican artist who raps and sings in Spanish chose Salt Lake City as the first spot on his 2024 Most Wanted tour. So, why the beehive state? Notably, Bad Bunny, the global Latin music phenomenon, is a guaranteed sellout wherever he goes. Oh, his last USA tour, the last tour of the world, raised around $116.8 million and sold 575,000 tickets in his 35 shows across the United States, crowning it as the most tour box office by a Latin artist in Billboard box score history in a record broken after by the same with world's hottest tour. So, why launch the most wanted tour in a seemingly unexpected location like Utah? Well, according to Mark Powell, Senior Vice President of Events at the Delta Center, Bad Bunny's agent called because they heard Salt Lake had a great Latinx concert market and wanted to kick off the tour with really good energy. He said Bad Bunny, along with other popular Latinx artists, chose to visit Salt Lake City because of the support of the community here. That community is just doing a great job supporting these artists, and they found out that this place is a secret gem. Moreover, they always look for fresh, exciting places to start tours. Salt Lake City offered a great venue, great timing, and most importantly, an enthusiastic audience. Bad Bunny loves connecting with new fans, and we expect an amazing energy here. Powell said that the event center witnessed around 15,500 people on February 21st, which was a record-breaking concert in terms of revenue. In addition to ticket sales, Powell says they even sold $600,000 to $700,000 worth of t-shirts and hoodies. This means the total revenue of Bad Bunny's concert has surpassed all the other big names who performed at the center over the last 33 years, including Paul McCartney, U2, Taylor Swift, and Travis Scott. He further said, Salt Lake City's Latino community is booming. We have a huge appetite for live music, and Bad Bunny resonates with so many people here. Tickets sold out incredibly fast, proving there's a dedicated fan base. It's true that Utah's Hispanic population is growing rapidly, and Bad Bunny's music transcends language and genre, connecting with fans across cultures, but there's more to the story. The Delta Center, Bad Bunny's first stop, also played a vital role. With the Utah Jazz not playing during the tour dates, the venue offered ample rehearsal time and a perfect launch pad for the massive production. From rehearsals and stage setup to the buzzing anticipation of fans, the Most Wanted tour is gearing up for an electrifying start in Salt Lake City. Expect high-energy performances, dazzling visuals, and all the hits you know and love. Bad Bunny, whose full name is Benito Antonio Martinez Ocasio, was the second most listened to artist globally on Spotify in 2023, surpassed only by Taylor Swift. Bad Bunny now has the two most played Latin songs on Spotify, Ikiti and Mi Porto Bonito. His album Un Verano Sin Ti, however, beat Taylor's top album, Midnight's when it became the most listened to album of the year for the second year in a row. So guys, are you too a die-hard fan of Bad Bunny? Please type yes, I am, in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for the latest in Latin music. You are watching Celebling, your daily dose of celebrity gossip. This is your host Susie, signing off for tonight. Goodbye.